Hello, I'm Seth Ammerman, clinical professor at Stanford University and Lucille Packard Children's Hospital. My colleagues and I have written a review paper concerning emergency contraception and looking at the tools and solutions that can help improve adolescent knowledge and use of this important method to prevent unintended pregnancies, which in turn will decrease abortion rates and complications related to adolescent pregnancy. The paper discusses the background of emergency contraception, the various methods used, and finally, the social determinants, determinants of health affecting the use and knowledge of emergency contraception. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sophia Yen, and I'm a clinical associate professor at Stanford Medical School in the Department of Pediatrics in the Division of Adolescent Medicine. I'm here to talk to you today about the four different methods of emergency contraception. Number one is the copper IUD. It's the most effective, 99.999% effective, and it's the same efficacy throughout the five days. Number two, is olaprostyl acetate, 30 milligrams, one PO, ASAP, PRN, contraceptive failure. And it is better than levonorgestrel only emergency contraception at all time points, zero to 24, zero to 72 hours, and zero to 120 hours. It's also better in heavier patients and patients who have a BMI greater than 26. The third most effective method of emergency contraception is levonorgestrel only, also known as plan B, also known as the morning after pill. And the critical information there we want to convey is to teach our patients to ask for generic plan B or levonorgestrel generic, because if they ask for plan B, the pharmacy will charge them the price of $60-ish, whereas if they demand a generic, then it'll only be $20. And that one is 1.5 milligrams of levonorgestrel PO ASAP PRN contraceptive failure. And the fourth method is the YESP method, which is take four birth control pills now, four birth control pills later. You can read more in our paper. And I hope that you will use the most effective methods for your patients. Hi, my name is Sujata Sitaraman. I'm a fellow in adolescent medicine at Stanford University. I wanted to talk to you all about the multiple factors that influence the knowledge and use of emergency contraception in adolescents. In our paper, we propose a socio-ecological model looking at multiple factors, multiple individual level factors, provider or clinic level factors, community level factors, as well as national and public policy level factors that influence the knowledge and use of emergency contraception in adolescents. Based on this socio-ecological model, we propose multiple interventions. For example, at a national level, one can have public service campaigns, legislation, also television shows that improve the knowledge of emergency contraception. At a community level, one can have very efficient sexual and reproductive health education programs at schools that will increase the knowledge of emergency contraception. Coming to the provider level, we propose multiple interventions such as surveying the provider knowledge of emergency contraception, providing youth-friendly health services, be it any kind of healthcare delivery model such as specialized clinics, community clinics, college health clinics, or mobile health clinics. I hope you get more information by reading our paper. Thank you for listening.